guys, welcome back. Now I'm going to carry on with the how to wrap look videos, if you remember. We've got the bonnet here that I started doing some patina work on. Is anybody doing sticky bomb me? I bought these books a while back, they're just full of all sorts of random stickers. Got my Amazon, they're about eight quid each, something like that. I've used a few, I've done bits and pieces. So today, I'm going to concentrate on this other half of the bonnet. I got bored in the garage, that's why this silly thing's all sprayed over it. But we're doing a sticker bomb here, and then the final piece we're doing with a NATO green, and we're going with an, we're going to go with an army look. So uh, we'll get cracking, we'll prepare the surface for the stickers. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to T-cut this so it's got no grit and it's going to be nice and smooth for the stickers to go on to and they'll fit nice and then we'll start overlapping a few different stickers going working in a, in a random pattern and uh, we'll see what effect that we get using different styles of stickers that are in the books. You can do this with any stickers as you probably already know but uh, just going to go through a few exercises and see what we get and see what looks that we can get on the bonnet. Right, what I'm going to do, obviously we're going to be starting on this edge, we've got quite squared edges, I think what I might do to demonstrate is follow the swage line of the bonnet, so I'm going to start off with some squared off stickers, lay them off and then put the off cuts, I like using the off cuts to fill in small gaps and we'll see how we go, to make sure all the tea cut residues off, or else we're going to have stickers that ain't sticky. There's some pretty cool stickers in this one. There's also and it's the brand of the book. But it's also got some insights to how the sticker bombing started and where the artworks come from from graffiti artists in America. And it's, it's quite a good read, it gives you a bit of background to knowing what you put on your car. See, this is what I was on about earlier. See, I found this one in the book. I think it's really cool. That's something that I want on the top, so we'll leave that till last. We can put that over a layer in the corner. You see, just go mad. If you start to think, oh, where can I put this work? You're going to make it look too uniform. It's just going to look like you've got blocks of stickers going across. We don't want that. We want just complete randomness all the way up. And we'll just keep working think about the shapes when you come into it because in these sort of bits if you can get the round ones you're going to be covering corners that you can't sneak in where you should have really put something underneath so we'll carry on with that but also there's some real random stuff here. I mean that's pretty cool some pretty cool things in this book I mean that I find quite I don't know if I like that or if that's disturbing I'm not sure but these are the main two that I'm going to use as a feature the rattle cans and they got guts hanging out of them and stuff like that. I think that's pretty damn cool. As you can see, I've rinsed this book quite a bit. This one <laughs> from when I was doing my polo. I mean, that's some funky dude. It almost looks like me. I had a bit more of a tan. I don't know. Home sweet chrome. That has definitely got to be used. Sticker balm. Yeah, and this one's pretty rinsed. Uh, I'll go through the new one. That's got more one, more in it.
Right, now we've established a pretty good base layer of stickers. And uh, what you want to do now, if you've got some feature stickers that you've liked out of the book, in certain areas, if you want to start putting them, so I've put the sticker bomb on. I found this one, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, rust oleum stops rust. Little cam. Um, putting these sort of things in now, over the top, you really see it really pops it out. So, stuck it in. Well, it's a, it's up to you. I mean, for me, I prefer to get a base layer, the black and whites, and get your colours popping through. Completely up to you. But this is just something I like. I, don't know, I think I can flow with, I know it sounds daft and the five year old can stick stickers on but we'll see how we go and I'll finish off and I'm going to carry up and fade it up, up this end and then we'll put, start putting some good feature ones in and away we go. Right, I'm pretty happy with what we've got here and I've decided that I want this as my final piece. I like jagged edges and the best thing about stick bonus is you can just carry on and keep adding and adding and adding the stickers to it. Um, I think in this one what we're going to do, once I put these stickers on, we're going to put some lacquer over it so it preserves the stickers. I've tried using uh, these type of stickers before, they're not like a vinyl, they are a paper based type sticker and if you don't put any lacquer over the top of them they, they just fade, they come away, they, they go matte and rip off. And I mean, let's face it, you're going to spend the time putting it in, you want your rat look look cool. I mean, if you want them to look tarnished on your rat look, go for it, you know. But um, personally, I like the the lacquer over the top. It really pops the colours out on the stickers. Plus, I mean, let's have a look at a few of these. There is some completely and utterly random ass stickers on it. I mean, what's, what's with this dude? Some pretty funky ones as well. I mean, like, that one's pretty cool. I love the sticker bomb stickers themselves. And these cans. I mean, I don't know what she was doing in the book, but I think we know what she did to get in the book. And it wasn't a player CV. But there are some completely random ass stickers in this thing. That's that other one from before, Rust Oleum. When I used some of the stickers out of the book before, there was a little pink dude, and it actually had a big knob hanging down from it, and I thought it was a bit random to be in the book, but we're going to apply this final layer. I'm Right, now we're going to lacquer this. I'm going to just use a standard single pack lacquer, Halford's clear lacquer. It works well on this. I have used the, the two pack lacquer over the stickers before. Works well, but obviously I know that not everyone can get hold of the two pack lacquer or they don't have access to a compressor and a spray gun. So for the sake of what, £6.50, I think it is, turn lacquer and away we go. So just start drifting some on. Obviously I've already pre-shaken this one, just getting the last bit in, make sure it's well shaken, you don't want it misty over your stickers. I tend to go around the edges of it as well, it helps seal the stickers down because you can get more layers of lacquer over the sticker there. We'll leave that coat to dry and then we'll give it a few more coats. Uh, I've waited about 35 minutes for the lacquer to dry. You see it's really brought the shine out, popped the colours out big time in the stickers. Lovely gloss on it. I'm going to apply a second coat and then that will be done. And then for the next video, this section of bonnet, I'm going to fill in with NATO green, I'm going to go with a bit of a 
Yankee theme, Yankee NATO theme. And I'll show you what I mean because I've rat looked my moped. Put the shark's teeth in here. You have to ignore the washing. It's my little Honda Vision. Paint some moon eyes on there. The star NATO green. And we'll go for sitting like that. For now, I'll, uh, I'll put this second coat on, and we'll go from there. Right, guys, the second layer of lacquer is dry, and uh, I think it's come out really awesome. Follow the air, you know, it's just, I think it's a brilliant effect and overall, even with a bit of patina and silly scrubbly I've done, I think we're starting to get a good look, good rat look. So, we'll keep you informed. Like I say, next video I'll be doing will be an update on the Polo. I've stitch welded and smoothed the rear strut tunnels and I'm going to be doing the second one. I wanted to make, get some practice in on the first one. We'll make sure we do that. Show you that, show that off. And the other thing is, I'm going to show you a new addition to the family. It's this, li this little dude. This is our new dog. He's called Squishy. He's a Shih Tzu Pug Cross. And this is all he does. He sleeps. He occasionally has mad bursts, but he's such a lazy dog. So there we go guys, keep you updated, should be another video in about a fortnight's time, see you around.